Today we announced the launch of Tidal, the first ever artist-owned global music and entertainment platform. <laughs> Now, that was Alicia Keys talking about Tidal, the streaming music service that just came out. Jay-Z is the head of it, and a whole lot of other A-list artists, including Rihanna, Kanye West, Madonna. They are also part owners in the service. Jay-Z says he launched this venture because artists should get paid for their music, and Tidal will make sure the artists are supported for their hard work. Now, I wanted to start with Richard first here because not just that he's got an opinion on everything, but... That is the talented one in the family, his daughter, Emily. She was at the huge music festival, South by Southwest, last week. Also played her music on the HBO show Girls, if you know. So, Mr. Brodsky, um, should artists, should people be able to download music for free? Yes. No. <laughs> hey, that kid. Um, <laughs> Have you always felt this? I, I, no, I haven't. <laughs> I, I, you know, they work hard. They, they're very creative. They're talented. This is a, it's a great music video. They ought to get paid if you're going to, if you artists should be paid. Okay. Now, I will tell you anonymously, if I did a poll of this floor, I happen to agree with him. I'd be in the distinct minority. And I'll hear the argument from folks who say, hey, by sampling music for free, I'll learn, maybe I'll go buy a song from the artist or whatever. Um, this should be creative art and people should get it. And I say, they're in studio time, they're paying for musicians in the band, they're paying to, to put the thing out. Why should, it's piracy pure and simple. But I'm telling you, that's not how people under 25 perceive music consumption anymore. They think, it's not like us when we bought a record at a store or a CD or something. They think if they can get it for free, they get it for free. Why should they pay for it? Well, of course, and, and they have been. And, that's, yeah. and that makes the problem worse because they think it should be for free. They've done it ever since it started. But they don't buy a painting for free. Well, my mother's a painter. We don't give away paintings for free. Even you don't give friends. away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I agree with Richard. It, it, and you know what? There's a f although a new company is probably going to end up, you know, with a whole bunch of executives and all sorts of people getting paid too. As long as the artists get get the, the right amount. It's uh, not a new concept. BMI, uh, ASCAP. When when radio came in, songwriters used to get paid by sheet music. When when radio started playing stuff that wasn't sheet music anymore, they came up with a way of paying artists for their songs on the radio. This makes sense. Let, we got 30 seconds, but put um, put another myth to rest. I hear a lot of folks, oh, please. They'll make so, they make so much money touring. These guys got to tour like 300 days a year to cover they, the nut, they, right? They, they, do, they do not make a lot of money touring. The big bands, the Rolling Stones, uh, Jay-Z, yeah. those guys, they play the big venues. The rest of these are small concerts. They do it because that's what they're compelled to do as artists. Emily Brodsky at, at, on, on uh, Noisy, at uh, <laughs> iTunes, <laughs> buy the CD, buy the, the uh, buy the video, and I play piano on one of them. Yeah, so I know. I, even I, there's something, in, even there's when it something kid. in it for me. And trust me, it's by far she's the talented cents. one in the family here. <laughs> Thank um, you. Richard. And on this subject, our video of the day. It comes to us uh, from our friends at Saturday Night Live. If you missed it, uh, you missed a pretty good, uh, I think, episode. You have one part of it where The Rock turns into the president, into basically the Hulk in the skit. Republicans made the president mad. This is what Dominic says he's been wanting to do for six years, for real. He turns into The Rock Obama. That's it. All right, coming up next, uh, more on the Hillary email controversy, as well as my interview with political expert, who has a surprising answer to the question of whether this, in effect, email scandal will actually help or hurt her.